Uh, my name is Michael, and I'm one of the founders of HummingBot, an open source project that helps you run high frequency trading bots on any crypto exchange, centralized or decentralized. Um, because we're open source, we're sustained uh, by users like you, um, you know, who run bots on exchanges like KuCoin, uh, one of our partners. Uh, when you, because KuCoin is one of our certified exchanges, whenever you run bots on KuCoin, a portion of the fee you incur uh, come back to support the HummingBot Foundation. So today I want to take the time and demonstrate uh, the latest version of HummingBot and all the features that we have specifically for, uh, specifically for HummingBot users, uh, and then we'll answer questions that people have posed from the KuCoin community afterwards. So let's get started. Uh, so this is version 1.9 of HummingBot. And um, the, what we found is the people who've had the most success with HummingBot are, are the ones who are really customizing uh, what they're doing instead of just running the off the shelf strategies we have. So that's why we've started to really use, um, introduce uh, a new f uh, component called scripts. Uh, so scripts are simple versions of strategies and we have a number of them already in the 1.9 uh, release because you know we've been accumulating examples of these. So these are just simple Python files. So the one I'm gonna run is called simple PMM example. And this script is a essentially a very basic stripped down version of our flagship pure market making or PMM strategy. So let's run it and see what it does and then look at the code and it will inform what it's actually doing. So here, HummingBot has initialized the order book uh, on KuCoin, um, and it's it's running this um, this this uh, it's basically placing a buy order and a sell order on the KuCoin order book. Now, this is set up in paper trading mode, uh, so it's not actually creating these orders, but it's mocking uh, these orders, and it's basically doing everything that it would if it were doing real trading. And this this is really a feature of HummingBot that allows you uh, to understand what, what it's doing beforehand, so paper trading. Um, and so right now, what this bot is doing is it's placing orders and refreshing them every 15 seconds. What are these orders? These are um, in market making orders. So it's placing a buy order uh, and then a sell order on the order book. The buy order is at a lower price uh, and the sell order is at a higher price. And these prices are relative to uh, the mid price or the central point uh, in the order book. So we can see here from the statics function that I ran, the status command tells us what the, you know, what the bot is doing and you know, what the status, the status of the orders is placing. We can see that the buy price is 14.62 and the sell price is 17.17. 17. And so why are these levels here? Well, um, I can tell you that uh, these are essentially 8%, 8% on, on top of the bin price for the sell price and then 8% below the mid price um, for, for, for this. Now, and the, these levels, it's 8% and everything, the balances and, and what market I'm trading are all defined uh, by my script. So in the past, you know, we, we, uh, the way that you would do this is you would create a strategy and really define all these different parameters that were baked into the strategy. But today, um, we encourage people to really customize and really use the full power of HummingBot. So that's why this particular script is actually code that is in um, just running in GitHub, running on, on this computer that's running the bot right now. So here are the actual parameters for the script that I'm running. Uh, here it's setting 8% uh, bid and ask spreads. It's gonna refresh orders every 15 seconds. Uh, the order amount is 0.1 ETH. Um, and it's trading uh, the ETH USDT market in the KuCoin paper trade market. Um, and so the, from this script, you can see exactly uh, how, um, how, how it works, how the, how the logic works every, every tick or every second. Uh, so essentially, if you have a basic understanding of Python, um, you'll be able to understand this code and uh, understand that it's really a very simple, uh, you know, kind of a 60, it's a 70 line uh, program that just executes a, a, buy, a, a process that, that repeti repetitively sets buy and sell orders on, on an order book. And so this is really a basic market making bot. 
Now, obviously, if you want to make money, you, you, will, you want to customize this and tweak this further. And, um, and that's exactly what a lot of people have done uh, with Hummingbot. Uh, we've observed that the, the folks who have the most success on our minor platform uh, and the ones who are you know, really actually making money by running Hummingbot are the, really the ones who have customized what they've done. And so that's why we encourage people to um, not just run off the shelf strategies, but instead really build custom scripts uh, that build on top of the simple examples that we currently have. So now that we have a base understanding of how these scripts work, uh, let's actually change some of the parameters and see the impact of changing the, the script parameters on the order book. So uh, for example, uh, uh, the 8% spreads that we're setting uh, are you know, really, really incredibly wide uh, given the, the, this, this very liquid ETHOC market. So the first thing we can do is simply tighten the spreads and let's see if we can get some actual trades being filled uh, using our bot. So if we go back to the script, um, right now these are 8% spreads. So let's set them a lot tighter. So let's set them at 0.01, um, uh, which is basically, this will be 0.1% uh, or 10 basis points. So we just make that very simple change uh, and save the file. Uh, we can go back here and stop the bot, uh, and then we can start the script again. And so uh, if we start the script, because this is a pure Python file, it's going to use the file, uh, the script file that I just modified, and, and then it'll, it should use those new, uh, those new spreads instead of the the eight percent spreads that we're setting earlier. So let's see if that works. So we can see now that the price, now the order prices are set much tighter. Um, closer to the current price of Ethereum, which is around 1588. Uh, so if we run the status command, uh, the, this shows that these spreads are much tighter. Um, and, uh, and, and so uh, it's, it's, it's possible that uh, we might, might get some fills. But even then, uh, the ETHOCC market is very tight on KuCoin. Um, we can run the order book command uh, and see uh, how, how, how tight it is. We can see that the tightest orders on the book are really very close to you know 1588.3353 and 15 uh, I'm sorry 1589.5354. So the, the 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 top bids and ask are incredibly uh, tight on the order book. So even these prices most likely uh, will, will not be filled. So um, so let's set the, our spreads even tighter. Uh, so let's stop the bot again. Uh, and then go back to the script and set our, our spreads not at not at uh, 10 basis points, uh, but at one basis point. Uh, so th this is this will be one basis point, um, you know, in, in, very tight. And let's see if we uh, actually do get some fills, setting spreads even tighter and tighter. So now, 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 now our prices are much tighter. And now uh, because of that, uh, we are going to see some uh, fills. Uh, again, this is paper trading. So these fills are not actually using real money, uh, but it does give us a, should give us any user a good sense of what actually happens and how market making works uh, at a simple level. So now that uh, we are seeing some fills and what, we, what we've done as a recap is to uh, look at uh, a basic market making uh, algorithm that's place, placing orders on two sides of the book, we've gradually tightened these spreads in from 8% um, down to you know, 0.1%, uh, down to 0.01%. And because it's the tighter you set it, as a market maker, the, the more fills you're going to get. Uh, however, the, the more, the more you know, risk you, you may take because you're going to do more trading. Next, let's, let's look at a different uh, script that ships with version 1.9 of Hummingbot. Um, in addition to the simple PMM example, uh, we also have the simple XEMM example. Um, and this script uh, is a basic version of the cross exchange market making script uh, that is Hummingbot. And, um, and so what it's, what it's doing is it's making a market, providing placing orders on a one exchange 
And anytime these orders are, are filled, it will basically do the opposite trade. So if it fills a buy order, it's gonna do a sell. If it fills a sell order, it'll do a buy. And I'll do those orders, um, uh, those it'll basically do the, those as taker or market orders on a different exchange. So the overall idea is to provide liquidity on a less liquid exchange, one where spreads are wider. Um, and, then, and then if you're filled, you execute trades on a more liquid exchange, uh, ones where spreads are tighter. And so you can essentially capture the difference uh, between the, the, the spreads in a market in across two exchanges. Uh, so it's almost like Robinhood. You're, you're kind of like stealing from the, the, the rich liquidity source and then um, kind of like providing to the, the poor liquidity source is how I think about it mentally. Uh, however, uh, now this strategy does, you know, while it's, it's more market neutral, it doesn't uh, take into account volatility as much. Uh, there is a big fee component because you know it, you're basically paying you know, fees on both exchanges uh, for, for every kind of trade that you're doing. So uh, a lot of the, the, the success behind the strategy is what kind of fee tiers do, do you have access to on these two exchanges? And can you identify markets where there's a big dichotomy between two exchanges uh, where it's, you know, you can kind of like essentially capture that, that differential uh, in spread. So um, the way that people use this on with HummingBot is not so much on the ETH UFT markets, but more on the smaller exchange markets on the minor platform. So, for, for example, um, for example, uh, you, you may want to go into, uh, let's say, KuCoin and say, you know, I, I'm going to market make on the front USDT pair, which is a one of the uh, one of the uh, more, more most active hum about minor markets that provides liquidity rewards to people who uh, are market making for it. And instead, uh, perhaps uh, you would try to kind of hedge on the Binance paper trade market for that same asset. And so, um, and so the, 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 the logic here is that because Binance is a more liquid, is the most liquid exchange in crypto, um, the spreads for this, for this pair are probably tight, tight, uh, tighter. And if you can mark and make on a wider pair, um, then, then you can kind of you know, earn, earn the liquidity rewards here, uh, but then be able to hedge your risk on a different exchange. So let's save this script. Uh, and then and then see if uh, we can test running that in paper trading mode. Oh, so stop the bot uh, first, and then and then we will do this again. Okay. So there's so we can see that now um, you know, now it's it's creating. Uh, you know, kind of like the orders are here, and it's it, it's gonna it will basically create orders on the KuCoin exchange, and then cancel them um, if they exist on Binance. Uh, now, one thing to note is that because uh, um, I haven't configured any paper trading balances for front, um, it's, it won't be placing any sell orders, only buy orders, because the, the bot doesn't have, does, doesn't know it that has any any front. So to set that, uh, you can set, you can use the balance paper command, uh, which is going to now allow you to kind of, uh, kind of you know, add balances uh, to your paper trading uh, wallet. So you can say front, and then I'll, I'll just give myself like a thousand to front, uh, just to um, you know, uh, be able to run the strategy. And then so if I run the strategy again, it should actually uh, now place uh, sell orders for front as well. Welcome back. Now that you've seen demos of how the HummingBot scripts feature works on both the pure market making example and the cross exchange market making example. Um, now I look to answer some questions we've received from the KuCoin community. Number one, Hummingbot only supports spot KuCoin markets. Do you have plans to support features as well? Absolutely. Uh, because KuCoin is one of our certified exchanges, we have developer bounties where people from the community can earn HBOT tokens for building and improving uh, their connectors. So there's a bounty that's currently been assigned to a community developer to build a perpetual connector for KuCoin. Um, and once the pull request has been received, uh, we will review it and merge it into the code base. So we expect to support uh, features on KuCoin before the end of the year. Number two, 
Uh, HFT market making requires trading with high speed. How does Hummingbot help for this? Uh, it is true that uh, market making in HFT uh, is really important if you're trying to compete at the most liquid trading pairs on the top exchanges. But there are many markets in crypto, and you know many markets don't get any attention at all from the top market makers and trading firms. And so Hummingbot really specializes in the long hit tail. So we do place an emphasis on speed, but um, you know we encourage users to not you know use Hummingbot if they don't have VIP fear tiers or they don't have co-location where they can place Hummingbot and run it close to exchange. You know it's it's you know, uh, don't you know, try to use Hummingbot in the way that um, you know you can. So um, the other thing is that you know every exchange in crypto is in the cloud. So um, there's a, the one second time of sending an API request and getting that. API request, you know, seen by the exchange, that the ultimate bottleneck. So uh, what I encourage users to think about market making is the, the friction is really in actually managing, um, you know, having lots of different orders in flight across the internet, you know, to an exchange or on the blockchain and actually not messing anything up, not placing stale orders, uh, not, you know, missing cancels. And that's where Hummingbot helps you out because we've put a lot of engineering into uh, maintaining, you know, WebSocket connections, you know, that are bug free uh, across every exchange. So uh, where we really save developers of time is in integrating to all the exchanges out there. Number three, uh, many users have issues placing stop loss and stop orders and fetching data of the orders. Does KuCoin provide a better way to implement this by the KuCoin API? Um, well, now that we have this scripts feature that allows people to really customize anything they're doing basically and build any type of trading strategy it really does allow people to not use it really kind of not use a ui if they don't want to um, as a caveat however hummingbot is aimed at more technical users so if you're a user that you know you don't know how to implement a stop loss through the ui um, you know you're going to find it harder to even maybe even harder to implement it through code as well um, however for users who want full control over uh, how they access exchanges and how they place orders, how they collect exchange data. And they want they, for the users who want to do this across this different exchange landscape, that's what Hummingbot uh, is aimed at. Because uh, basically anything that you can do via the API, uh, you can also do uh, via Hummingbot as well. Uh, number four, exchange coverage. How does Hummingbot integrate all the exchanges in a single package and allow users to code for all exchanges API at once? Is this actually possible? Well, before we came along, um, it, it wasn't. And the reason that it is possible with Hummingbot is that we take a very open source, community-oriented approach to this, where we have different developers from the community building and maintaining integrations to different exchanges. So um, that's why we support all of the major centralized exchanges and now we're even supporting decentralized exchanges as well, where each blockchain uh, and every every ecosystem is very different. Um, so the, the reason that we're open source and we're a community maintained project is what allows us uh, to actually achieve this. Number five, getting support. How can users get support directly for the questions or issues for your team? Uh, we have a very active Discord community. Uh, where we do have dedicated community managers who will try to answer questions about Hummingbot uh, for the, from the community. Um, if you can't find it on our website, the Discord link is discord.gg slash Hummingbot. Uh, in addition, because we're a community-based project, um, we do have a, a vibrant community of developers uh, who, are, who are able to answer questions on Discord as well. Um, it's, 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 it's free, you know, we're all a, uh, a team of users as well as, as developers. Uh, so we, we, we encourage everyone from the community to not just use Hummingbot, but also to, to try to you know, help new users, uh, have an understanding of it as well. And last question, is the HBOT token needed for users to use Hummingbot? Does HBOT have any other use cases besides governance? Uh, great question. So when we split off Hummingbot as an open source foundation almost one year ago, um, the HBOT token, the main use case is, is still governance. And so people use the HBOT token to decide which exchanges should be certified, um, which 
enhancements should be um, should be added to the Hamilton code base and allocation of bounties and grants to developers for building things like integrations to new blockchains like Solana um, and and improving uh, connectors like um, like the KuCoin one. So, so how can you get started with Hummingbot? Well, if you go to our website, which is hummingbot.org, you can use the test drive feature to test out Hummingbot in your browser. Uh, so this will start a Docker instance Hummingbot right in your browser. We can test out uh, the sample scripts that I showed you, uh, as well as any other strategy that ships with Hummingbot. In addition, uh, you may want to check out our new bot camp, uh, which is a developer boot camp that teaches people uh, the in-depth art of market making uh, in an intensive four-week course. Uh, so what we do in this course is we actually go through every week, um, we try to teach people through both pre-recorded content and live sessions uh, how they can um, actually you know, succeed with Hummingbot, um, and, and build basically any type of trading strategy that they want. And finally, in uh, the fourth week, uh, we have a demo day where people present their videos, uh, they vote for their favorites, and the winners get uh, not only bragging rights, but they also get uh, HBOT rewards, as well as um, a custom NFT certificate. In addition, uh, people who take BotCamp get access to all the content that we'll be producing. We'll be creating more examples of trading strategies, uh, you know, and, and, and all kinds of more content over time. Uh, and in addition, uh, I think there's a community that we'll be building here uh, where people uh, can actually really teach others market making, quant trading, and, and all of the other, you know, really anything under the sun that you can do uh, with Hummingbot. So I encourage you to sign up for, for BotCamp. Uh, we are limiting to a number, to a maximum of 20 seats per cohort. Um, which is uh, which is why uh, we're going to keep keep it small for the time being. So thank you very much, and I hope to uh, you know see you using Hummingbot and on our Discord in the near future.